Hello, glad to be back with you again for another video. Praise God. Thank for God for another day. For letting me live to see another day. Thank God for letting you live to see this day. God is good and He's merciful to us. And He's He helped us. Praise God. I know so much going on you. Sometimes somebody might wonder well, where is God? But what's happening going on in this world? As you if you read your Bible and you Bible believing person, you know these things just coming up on this earth. It's no surprise to you if you ever read. Uh, even over the Old Testament, before you even get to the uh, book of Revelation, tells you about all these things coming up on the world before it's the end. But what's so bad about it is that we have so many people claiming they know the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, don't believe in a new heaven and new earth. They believe that they'll work for the Lord down here, do work for God, get God blessings and all the good things that God gives us and going through the trials and tribulation. And they believe when they stop breathing, that's it. There's no more remembrance of ever living, no remembrance of having a family, no remembrance and thinking about heaven or earth or God or anything. They just think their body just go back to the ground and it's gone and that's it. But if you read in the book of Revelation and you're a Bible believing person, and I'm sure you have searched your Bible to see whether they're eternal life or not, and they tell you, Jesus prepared a heaven for us. We have a new heaven and new earth coming down from God after this world is be destroyed. Because why we have a new heaven and new earth? Not because you're going to heaven, because the Lord knows that this world was not going to last forever. You see, fires are breaking out on the news. And here's something that's happening somewhere else. Praise the Lord. Fires in Canada is really having it. Floods and fires. So it's just that global warning. And that let us know that it don't have nothing to do with the human being so much. But a lot of things we did help, but it was going to happen anyway. The world was not going, was not built to stay here forever. Jesus knew what was going to happen. This is this by this world get old like we get old. It's young and then it's old and it's old. Praise the Lord. Look how long we've been in the world and all the generations back. If you read in, 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 in the Bible, all the, all those things that happened before what's happening now happening. So it's it been around a long time and it just, it's, it's got to go. It can't hold no more. It can't do no more. So we gonna have to find a resting place and that resting place got to be in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and that new heaven and earth. But we must be and we got to be born again. If you draw non to God, he'll draw non to you. And that means that you seek it holiness you want to know the holy way the right way to live the lord tell you what sin is what's wrong what you get all this even stuff in in us in this body because we're in a sinful body but we can't live by the law because the law can't free you from your sins the only somebody can free us from our sin is our lord and savior jesus christ and he did that when he went on the cross he says, finish, is done. Anybody that believes in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, have eternal life. They can live forever in this world. Praise God, not forever, but in the new heaven and new earth forever. Never have to go through what we're going down through now. And I've said it on other many videos that I can't say it enough. But seeing people ain't concerned about this. So they're concerned about what's going on in the world and this and that, but not concerned about You can be concerned about what's going on in the world. You can still... Uh, do whatever you have to do that is right, praise God, and please the sights of the Lord. And still think about your heavenly home, knowing that through all this you're going through, that gives you hope when you have tried and tribulation, knowing that I'm not going to be in this all my life. One day Jesus come for me, and he is coming for us, whether we believe it or not. Amen. When this body stops breathing, we're gone. The soul and spirit is going back to God. Praise the Lord where it belongs, praise the Lord. And if, it, if it, we leave out of this world not saved, except in the Lord and Jesus Christ as our Savior, then our soul and spirit will not go in God's kingdom. He, that, that kingdom is built for people that have accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, believed in Him, had a changed life, not living a wicked and evil life in this world and hateful and don't want to see nobody have nothing, don't want to see nothing good for nobody. And if it is, you want to take it and steal it from him and hurt and kill him. Little children, anybody, you don't care. Run over somebody, you don't stop and, 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 and see whether they're hurt and call the ambulance for them and then just keep right on going. Praise the Lord. Only time you feel remorse about it is when you be caught. Praise the Lord. Amen. No, no, no. We got a new heaven, a new earth for all those that accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We cannot live a wicked life in this world and think that when we leave our soul and spirit go back to God. But a lot of people don't believe that. Yeah, I'm doing what I'm going to do because when I'm dead, I'm done. I ain't going to be, be, it's not going to be no remembrance of me I ever lived or anything. I'm going back to the dust with the, in my body. He, they look at, what I'm trying to say, they look at the, body going back to dust that everything that moved and breathed in them is goes to they don't remember ever living nowhere they don't remember nothing never even existed it's not dead it's gone it's just a, a, a body that's all they think that's all 
So, but did they all? Danny, they all. He was songwriting, was singing. You know, I would do a lot of things, but I know I got another place I got to go in and give account for it. He said, I know it ain't all. It's more to it than what we think it is. Praise God. And we and those that have faith, believe it and act in by it, join now to God and let him draw now to you, seeking holiness the right way that's pleasing in the sights of God, as I said before. God is real. God is real. Praise God. We you, we think about us and well, if you how you can just say you can just go on and that's it. You, you ain't come from no animals. The Bible teaches you, if you're a fish, you're going to have you all be a fish. If you're a bird, you're going to be a bird. Bird. If you're going to be a, 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 a fruit, you're going to be a fruit. You're going to be an orange, you're going to be an orange. If you're going to be a banana, you're going to be a banana. Meaning whatever you come from, you're going to be that till you leave this world. We come from a human being, Adam and Eve, that was created by God in heaven. Praise God. Amen. He did not meant for us to live this way, but he knew it was going to be this way because God wanted a generation of people to live with him in heaven heaven praise God he knew what Satan was planning that's why he don't have a place in heaven and he'll never be able to go back to heaven again he was one of the highest angels in heaven he could sing a choir and he didn't need nobody to help him he could sing every different voices that it is in the world to, to sing he could do it one big powerful angel God made but God ain't gonna never make nobody powerful than he is praise God amen yeah, just like when you're raising your children, you're not the way, man, hold up. I've been here longer than you. You can't tell me something you can't tell me. Praise God, I can tell you. So it's impossible you can tell me certain things because you ain't been there. You ain't done that. I have. I know. So it's just a small uh, example, praise the Lord, but it don't touch nothing to God. No, nothing, nobody ever going to be powerful than God. I don't care who it is, what it is. And the Lord tell us, fret not that son, so he would do this soon, be cut off. He going to cut him off. Fret not that self, because that is sin to be worried about this and that. Once you've done all you know you could do through the help of God, and you left it up in the hands of the Lord to help you to keep on going until your time where you will leave and be out of all this prob problems and trouble body and, and the things that's going on in the world. Praise the Lord. We look for a new heaven, a new home, not made by man, but made by the hands of God. That's our joy. That's our peace. Praise the Lord. Not just saying good and felt faithful servant, well done, and we don't remember nothing. We gone. It's just right body going deceased back to the dust, and it's just like we never exist. And over the years and 20 and 30 years, family members forget you that you exist, and now people just don't even don't think about uh, going to the graves too much no more because they feel like they thinking in their mind there's nothing there. It's, there's nothing wrong with you going and give honor to your family member have passed away. Praise the Lord, amen. But know that they're not there. They, and they're not there when they're done. They, 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 they're gone and they like they never exist. They're they soul and spirit and hope they died in Christ. They went and died in Christ. They're happy. They are happy praying around the throne of God for you and me and all the whole world that we'll make it to. And God going to judge the ones. There's evil people that think they're getting away with everything, but they will never, ever be able to get away from the things that come from God. We're going to give account for how we live in this world. And the Bible says so. God going to judge us according to how we lived in this body of flesh. We got to accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ now. We got to accept him right now. Draw nigh to God and let him draw nigh to us. That means we are seeking the holy way of God. We want to go the way Jesus said for us to go, praise God. That's the way we want to go. If you believe in the Lord, but if those that don't believe in God, that's something else. That's, that, that's, that's, that's in the hands of God. That's in, in your, in you, I would say, that between you and God. Amen. Because we can't do nothing but tell you. And if you don't believe it, it's nothing else we can do. Pray for you. Hope one day you come to the truth. That we all come to the truth. None of us was born in this world believing in God. We heard somebody, we believed it, and we stepped him in our life. Did change from that weak and evil thinking in ways. Just thinking you, you can't do anything you want to do to people, and then that's it. No, we gotta give account how we live. I want to live right. I want to take up my cross and follow Jesus in His footsteps, showing Him that I love Him. He already know whether I love Him or not, but me. He let me know how much I love him, how much uh, uh, trials and tribulation you can go through before you start doubting I'm real. Praise God. He know already, but he want you to know that. He want me to know. That's why we had. That's why we have trials and tribulations. Because we can say we love the Lord and all, but when something come up, do you back up and wonder about God and question God? Or do you say, God, 
God, I live for God, I die. God, I know you will. You're going to help me through this. If you need for me to continue on, you're going to get make that past once that past away straight. So I'll be able to go and do your will and live by your will and be a light in the world to those that's in darkness. Before we come to the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we are in darkness. We, I mean, we look at the light in the moon. That's not, I'm talking about the darkness of sin. We can't see how terrible sin is. We can't, we can't feel how bad it is. Praise God. We are part of it. Amen. We're in the body that sins. Praise God. That's why the Lord said we must be and we got to be born again. It's no way. And we got to do it. And as I'm telling you, we got to do it now. Praise God. And if your mother or father, anybody died believing in Jesus Christ or even on the road seeking God and want to know about God, God will welcome them into his kingdom. At least they want to know the truth. Praise God. It ain't like some people don't know the truth, don't care about the truth. But it is a shame when we talk about God and all his goodness and all his blessing. And we think that when we stop breathing, that's it. Don't, don't have Christians, real born again Christians, know that there's a new heaven and new earth and they when they know when they work it are done down in this earth for the lord that they got a place in heaven it's described in the book of revelation unless you don't believe in revelation it's revelation 21st verse to tell you about that new heaven and that god has prepared for us that's our hope that's our hope then we're gonna live again praise the lord and we are gonna give a live again whether you save or not you go that soul and spirit gonna live somewhere and god got a place for it and I want to go to heaven. I don't want to go to the place that God said you'll go for rejecting Jesus Christ. I know people don't believe that, but I don't. Don't go. Don't leave this world and find it's true. You can't come back and tell nobody. You can't come back and tell nobody. They got to believe right now what they hear by faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I'm just so glad to be a part of Christian, a journey, a believer, born again believer, redeemer from my sins. Praise the Lord. Amen. And Pray God bless all those, excuse me, that's on the wall for the Lord and doing what the Lord wants you to do. Keep on, keep up the good work, working for God, not man, not yourself, not nobody, but Jesus Christ. He'll bless you, your family, and all. Praise the Lord. Amen. But thank God for that new heaven and new earth. And I pray that God continues to strengthen you and help you. And I pray God bless you with a wonderful day today. Praise the Lord. And I hope for hope you had a good night last night. Praise God. And, and I hope you have a good evening. And as I say, a day, a evening, praise God, or afternoon, however you want to put it, praise God, and a good night, rest tonight, praise God. But it's all a lot is going on, and we, it's going to get worse through the better. That's, that's what the Word of God tells us. It's going to get worse through the better. So just stay, if you are a believer, stay with God. Keep on believing in God. Don't move out of that spot. What I'm saying is keep on moving on because a reward is waiting for you for what you did in this earth for the Lord and how you stand for Him. Amen. If you're going to die for something, die for a good cause. And the good cause, the good cause, if I was not my lose my life, I wanted my cause to be that I was on my way serving God. I was doing what the Lord wanted me to do. I wasn't out there breaking laws because the law can't save me. The law can't free me. But Jesus Christ saved me from this, from sin, shame, and death. And I am the servant. And I pray God. Amen. Nobody look for a terrible ending happening to them. Praise the Lord. We want to pass away and feel good about it and, and all that praise god but we don't know only god know but whatever happened to us let us die in faith leaving in our lord and savior jesus christ and that new heaven and new earth praise the lord that's all i'm gonna say to you today praise the lord amen i well you know i'm gonna i'm gonna say a, little, a scripture prayer but I, hold on a minute i was almost to cut us off i gotta hold on a minute praise god as it was in hebrew the seventh chapter hebrew the seventh chapter the 19th verse tell it, for the law made nothing perfect. The law can't make nobody perfect, and it can't save nobody, and it can't change your mind and heart. And you're going to sin, you're going to break it, whether you know it's right or not, you're going to do it anyway, because we're in a sinful body. Till we become born again, we'll stop doing it, because the Holy Spirit in us will help us stop, and we're going to continue on going, uh, doing the things that is of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And they say, but the, but the be, being and of a better hope did by this, by the which we draw now unto God. We have a better hope through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ now. Amen. We, we, we can conquer uh, uh, this flesh, sin, shame, and death. God, Jesus Christ is in us. Praise the Lord. He, he forgives us our sins. He cleanses and washes us up from it. Don't bring them up no more. The only way sins come back is when we start something that we wasn't strong enough in God and we start doubting God and wondering was he true or real God or not and turn away from God. And it's our fault. It's not God's fault. 
But we, we don't want that to happen. Keep your faith through the hard times, good times, whatever you're going through. Keep your faith in God. Just call out and ask him to help him. Lord, I am weak, but you are strong. You're able to help me conquer this that's bothering me and troubling me. I want to go on with you and trust you. That's the way I feel. And I believe all men born again, born again believers that believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They don't want, they don't want to give up their cross. Just just cross they're going through trials and tribulations. How you gonna have them anyway? So why not have them where you can call on somebody like Jesus to help you, somebody to help you to go through them and give you strength over them, praise God. Amen. But Jesus would do that. But if you're going through all these things by yourself, that's why so much breaking down on people's human beings is having so much problem and so much trouble. Amen. That's why I got so the doctors can't even help them, praise God. Things are getting so worse. Cause so we're in that body. Praise God. And, and it's a sinful body. Praise God, the only way you can live in peace and not breaking the laws or even breaking the commandments of God is through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit that he have gave us, praise God. Seek the Lord, draw nigh to God, meaning seeking his holiness ways, seeking God's ways, praise the Lord. He said, if you knock, the door will be open for you and he love you. I pray God continue to help you and keep you.